I really want to take the fear out of Pilates. All right, so only body weight, no weights, no machines, no equipment of any kind, just a mat, and we are going to do something extraordinary. I will meet you over on the mat in three, two, one. Uh, I'm so excited about this. All right, we're gonna breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Always use control and modify as needed. This is your workout. Make sure you spread it around, invite your friends to join you. Pilates mat working our back. Let's start in child's pose. So knees are down, fingers are wide, and we sink back. A real beginner class, and I'll give you a couple chances to start adding on so we have child's pose right here releasing down if this is your first time in child's pose fantastic carry this pose with you the rest of your life relieving stress in your back relaxing the mind it feels extraordinary and it also stretches your shoulders and even your armpits take two more breaths in the nose out the mouth Pilates works from your core outward. All right, place the right hand down. Left arm slides underneath. This is called threading the needle. Let's hold it here for five breaths. Pilates works from your center outward, your strong core, which is your abdominals, your lower back, your hips, and your glutes. Everything we do in Pilates is centered in the powerhouse, in the core, in that nucleus, that center of strength. And the core stabilizes your body as the body moves. Good, feel that twist, actively reaching that arm through. There's a huge stretching and mobility component to Pilates mat exercises. All right, let's take it to the other side. Left hand down, the right arm slides through. Hi, Eddies. Reach it through, five deep breaths. Fill and empty the lungs, filling the sides, the back. Just give yourself a few minutes of these workouts and it will have a massive effect on your health and fitness. And one more breath, my friend. Ooh, well, that was exciting child's pose the child's pose rocking so we're going to press back inhale up slightly hands almost on the shoulders exhale take advantage right here to stretch it back unearth the tension in the spine in the back perhaps it's been there a long time you've had bad thoughts you've been frustrated you've been hindered in your movements you want to go back in time before these things got tight and imbalanced. Well, think of Pilates as your personal time machine to come through and loosen everything up, strengthen everything, give yourself a tune-up and return to that glory that you once had with your body. But you gotta practice. You have to stay consistent with it. Two more repetitions, breathing in the nose forward. And once you start to loosen up and strengthen the low back, especially, it is night and day. We feel perhaps some energy and movement we have not felt in a long time. All right, child's pose, sway it back and forth a couple times. We're gonna come down onto our stomachs into what I call the baby cobra. However you need to get there, but eventually, you are going to come down here. Forearms are down, elbows under the shoulders. Then the cap has to go down one-fifth of an inch. There we are. <laughs> Legs are extended back. Shoulders are back. This is a baby cobra. It's adorable. But we're drawing the shoulders back. We're opening up the chest and stretching and strengthening the back. <sighs> Three more breaths. Three. Dry glaze Good, your jaw is relaxed, the breath is strong, you are infusing your body with so much good stuff right now. This is, if broccoli 
was an exercise, it might be Pilates. Now, I want you to exhale and lower down as far as you can. Feel that stretch through the crown of the head. Nice big stretch in the back. Open it up. Get the blood flowing. And when you're ready, we're going to lift up again to that baby cobra. Now, a modified single leg kick. I call this a Saturday morning cartoon pose. You're going to alternate leg curls. Stretching your hamstrings, stretching your lower back and glutes. Make that movement whatever you want it to be. The range of motion is yours. Don't steal mine. I won't steal yours. Find yours. Pilates cuts out all that chatter, all those distractions. You find where your body resides, what it can do, how it moves right here, right now. Right, Addy? sweetheart <clears throat> she keeps running into the bushes over there and i keep drawing her out that's love isn't it so you're watching the saturday morning cartoons whatever they may be i don't even know if they have them anymore i guess you could stream them anytime but that's not special they were special because they were on only saturday mornings all right one more time curl that leg and then very slowly again lengthen your way down stretching that back Lengthen through the crown, the top of your head. See, I'm just, I keep pressing into my forearms. I'm stretching, 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 and then press up and back. We have our child's pose. Let's do that rock again. We're gonna come all the way up into a modified plank. Look at that. Back and forth, exhale down. You got the eccentric movement there, the, the big stretch, and then inhale up. Co-centric. Back and forth. Pull those abdominals in on the exhales. Flex them. Oh, beautiful. Let's do three more. Just give me a few minutes, my friend, and I will show you so much from my own experience with Pilates, with movement, after sustaining a horrible back injury years ago in my professional theater days. Pilates helped me to build back up. <sighs> All right. So we're in child's pose. You can keep it here or the big extra credit exercise. It's called the bird dog. We come to hands and knees position. We first itch our nose in the most disciplined way. Hands are under the shoulders. Knees are under the hips, pressing the ground away. Let's not just take this for granted. This is a whole posture right here. We're engaging the arms and the shoulders. Elbows are in, draw your shoulders back. The back of the neck is lengthened. It should be smooth. And of course, the crown of the head is pointing forward. Knees under the hips, pressing, pressing. Now the bird dog, you can do a one-legged one, which is take your right leg back. Feel your body adjust, feel your core adjust to keep your body stabilized and balanced. And then exhale, the knee comes down, replacing to the exact same position. Inhale, left leg. Hips are square to the mat. Fantastic exercise for balance and stability and focus. Because you must focus on these exercises or they just don't work. If you want to add more, Extra, extra credit, opposite arm. In Pilates, we love doing opposites to really engage the body, to balance it, to challenge it, and to lengthen it, always lengthening. Arms and legs as parallel as possible. Use a mirror to watch yourself in. In the nose, out the mouth. Let's do four more, two more each side the building blocks of your Pilates program, right here. All right, one more time each side, slow it down. Fingers and toes reaching away from each other, very powerful, working the low back, the back, and of course, uh, oh crap, <laughs> everything else. Uh, sometimes you, 
I look over and there's a person standing right there and Addy has to rush over. All right, my friends, hands forward, press it back, child's pose, beautiful work. Thank you for training with me, Coach V. That is your Pilates basic beginner back workout. Please, if this helped, my friends, click that like button, press the subscribe button, and always click that notification bell to never miss one of my workouts and spread this workout around. Think of one person that desperately needs to do exercises like this and share it with them. I appreciate it, my friends. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.